Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of uh, PostgreSQL. Today we will be talking about constraints. Constraints are basically used to limit the kind of data that uh, we can use and store in our tables. For example, in a shopping cart, uh, if you want that the price of a product, it uh, should always be greater than zero. So we will be applying constraints in that case. So the constraints that we are going to talk about uh, is uh, the check constraint and uh, we will talk about the not null constraint then we will uh, talk about uh, the unique constraint so first of all we will start off by the check constraint so the main objective of check constraint is to check a particular uh, condition that is to it as it allows us to specify a value that uh, must always satisfy so we will start off by making a new database in for this tutorial so i will be creating a new database called uh, product so uh, Here I have a new database product and uh, I will be creating one table or uh, I would rather create it by the SQL method. You can also use the SQL method. So just click on the arbitrary X, uh, SQL queries. So we can uh, create a table that is create table product and we will use uh, a product number that will be of integer type next we will be using a product name that will be of text type and we will have the price that will be of numeric type and we will put a check constraint on price we want to check that uh, once we enter a value the price should not be negative or it should be always greater than zero so for that we will use the check constraint that is check and in brackets we will just write our condition that is price greater than zero and just close and just run the query and we see that the query returns successfully now we will be entering data in our uh, table so for that we will use uh, insert into products values and for the values we will use uh, 10 that is our product number and we will use uh, soap that is a product name and first of all I will enter minus 10 so that this becomes invalid and you could see that I get an error that is uh, new row for relation products violates check constraint so you could see that uh, it works and if I remove the minus now and again run it and you see that the query returned successfully that one row has been affected so you could check it now that it has been entered at is select star from products and you see that I have one product a check constraint can also refer to several columns that is suppose uh, if we want to store a regular price and a discounted price so we want to ensure that the discounted price is always lower than the regular price so for that we could use the check constraint that could refer to several columns so for that to show it practically I will uh, make the products table again so I will delete this table first of all and I will create it again so you could just uh, delete this table and you will create one more table now so I will create the uh, products table again that is uh, create table products that is I will have a product number as an integer type then I will have a product name as a text type then in price of uh, numeric type and we had a check constraint that uh, price is greater than zero then I will have a discounted price and I have another check constraint here that uh, discounted uh, I, oh, I missed the numeric this check discounted uh, price should be greater than zero again and I have another check constraint to show that uh, the price should always be greater than the discounted price 
so this condition would be not so familiar with you now as i mentioned that the check constraint can also prefer uh, also refer to uh, several columns so here you could either use it this way or if you put an and here like if you uh, put an and statement and you put this condition this would also work for you but i prefer to choose it uh, this way and you don't need that i prefer to put it uh, this way for you so that uh, you know both the methods about uh, how it is working so you could run this now and see that it returns successfully and uh, now i will be putting some data to ensure that this works and you see that uh, you can choose uh, insert into products values 2 for the number so for the name 10 for the price and minus 4 for the discounted rate so yeah it will show me an error for minus and you see it violate constraint uh, of discounted price now suppose I put it as 12 this would again violate it because uh, discounted price cannot be greater than the original price and you see I have another violation that is uh, products violate check constraint again so if I put it 8 now this is the discounted price it would work so see it works now so you could check it now that uh, select star from products and as you see that I have this so this is all for the check constraint so thank you for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we will continue with the normal and the unique constraint so subscribe for more and stay tuned